eight choices. A common theme and phrase around my life as of late for the past two years has been that we all have our choices, that the decisions that we make in our everyday lives will have a determining factor and outcome toward our future. I agree with the premise that there are choices that we can either choose to avoid being in altogether, like cheating, or choices that we can choose to engage in, like watching Pornhub and Charlemagne the God, or feed your mind. The internet is like a gift and a curse. It is a tool to be used to gain personal achievement and goals. This requires discipline, just like your workouts, learning online, studying for a class, etc. Time. What are you doing with your time? The older you get, you realize how precious and important your time is. It's priceless. It's easy to watch an hour of porn, yet it's hard to read a book for an hour. Food for thought. What exactly are our choices, though? What if our choices are still being controlled and guided? Is there really such a thing as true free will? Do we really have the power to choose among alternatives or to do things free of restraints without consequences? If our choices are predetermined, then we don't have free will. College, credit scores, debt, work-life balance, and our job slash function in the world all will have a serious impact on our lives and determine our income, where we live, what type of neighborhood we will be in, where we will be able to work, access to better groceries and food options, and more. I'm not trying to create fear or tell you that it's not possible to achieve the things that you desire in life or overcome any roadblocks that may come your way. My goal is to only be honest and provide the information that for some of us, the landscape may not be as laid out. If you know why you are doing something and it will help you toward your goals, then that's all that matters. If you know that you have a plan and things are temporary, then that's all that matters. Do what you must do to get yourself out of the hole. Put aside your pride and don't worry about what other people are doing. You don't know what other people are doing to get theirs. Their money may come back to haunt them. Be happy with how you're getting yours. Learn to appreciate life, even the little things. When being faced with it all being taken away, even the shitty job becomes okay. Why? Because going to jail, prison, death, or having other things that hinder your success or take you out is an L in the game. You can't control what happens in life. You can only control how you respond.